Well, hey there, if this is your first time visiting my channel, this video is gonna be a little bit different than what you would normally see here. I'm gonna get a little bit more personal today. I wanna to share with you a major life decision that I've recently made and also how that's gonna impact my YouTube channel. So make sure you stick to the end for that. But if you're interested in more of like the day-to-day -day things of my life, I do get more personal over on Instagram and make sure you go there after this. I'd love to have you follow me and communicate with you there. I am homelife.with.lauren over on Instagram. But stay to the end because I'm gonna share with you how this major life decision is affecting my YouTube channel. All right, I'm not gonna keep you in suspense because it drives me crazy when YouTubers get on here and talk for like 20 minutes without actually telling you the juicy little tidbit they've teased you with. So I'm just gonna get right to it. I am going back to school. And that may not seem like an earth shattering, shattering revelation for you, but it has been 20 plus years since I graduated from college with my bachelor's degree in psychology. And I have finally just decided that it's time for me to go back. I am 43 years old. I haven't been in school in a really long time. So I'm a little, little bit nervous, super excited. I'll start in January and I'm pursuing a master's degree in marriage and family therapy. So I wanted to share with you kind of how I came to that decision and what I've learned in the process, because I think it's important anytime we make a major decision that affects ourselves and our family and really our entire lives, there's always something to learn from it and something we get as we're going through that. And I think this is something that will probably be applicable to you. So let me tell you my story. Okay, so backtrack. I, like I said, went to college and received my, or earned my bachelor's degree in psychology like 20 plus years ago. When I graduated, I got married within about a year after graduating. And so my husband and I were pretty young. I was planning on going to grad school, but it was really important to me to have a family and I decided to put that first. So I put having a family first, I had three kids and I was super busy and overwhelmed as most young moms are. And I thought about going back to school numerous times over the years, but I just, it, the timing just never felt right. And it was really important to me to be there for my kids. I wanted to be the mom that was involved in the classroom and the mom who threw the fun birthday parties and the mom who just was there when their kids, her kids got home from school. And I didn't really feel like I could do that with a full-time job. So I did dabble in a few things over the years. I worked in a school cafeteria, I worked in a bank, um, I did like a little home baking business for a while. I've done a few other little things, but nothing ever felt quite right or something that I would want to pursue long term. Being a mom had always been the most important thing in the whole world to me. And to me, that was literally like my biggest purpose here on the earth is to be a mom and a wife. And I love that. May not agree with me. That may not be your purpose, but for me, that's how I feel. But in addition to that, I always felt like there was something else, there was something more, and it was like this nagging feeling, and I never knew exactly what it was. So fast forward to this past summer, and a friend and I were talking on the phone, and I was commenting to her and kind of joking about how she and I always end up being the rescuers of our little friend group, or um, we always get thrown into helping someone together, and that's actually how we got to know each other, was helping someone together. So anyways, um, I was joking with her that we should open like our own like mental health clinic or life coaching business or something like that. And after I got off the phone with her, that just kept replaying in my head and I kept thinking about it. And then I thought, you know, maybe, maybe now is a time to pursue a career. My kids are all, I've got three teenagers who are mostly grown and um, I really only have one that's left in the house that will be here for the next couple of years in school. So anyways, I was gonna fast and pray about it because as a Christian woman, I make sure God is behind all of my major decisions and I don't make a decision without him. That's really important to me. As I was preparing something for church, I was reading through a sermon and I just knew, all of a sudden I just knew this is what I was supposed to do. Like, yes, I was supposed to go back to school to get my master's degree in marriage and family therapy. And this was part of my purpose was to strengthen and protect and preserve happy marriages and families. And I feel so convicted now that no matter what happens, even if I never got paid to do this, that this would be part of my purpose and it would fill me with such joy because I really do love helping people, specifically mothers and women and families are so important to me. That is like, that is the most important thing to me. So, 
spending all of my time trying to help others achieve the same kind of happiness that I have in my marriage and my family just would bring me so much fulfillment. So I'm really excited about this decision. So what have I learned through this process? And I'm hoping that these things will help you. I'm hoping these will be things that you can apply if you're making a major life decision or considering a big change in your life. Just keep these things in mind. And the first thing is timing. Now, if I had gone straight from getting my bachelor's degree to getting my master's degree or my um, PhD, I wouldn't have had a whole lot of life experience. I was young. I would have been in my 20s. I wouldn't have had a lot of marital experience. I wouldn't have had children by then. So, you know, what can I really offer people that would be coming in to bear their souls to me and, you know, share with me their problems and their troubles and looking for good advice? I don't feel like I would have that foundation of experience to offer. And I think that's important because I think people want to feel like you can relate to them and that you understand them. And I wouldn't really have been able to. So, and then also, I think timing wise, you know, this is the perfect time for me. I have two kids that are grown and one who's well on her way and they just don't need me quite in the same way that they used to. So the second thing is patience. I have pondered and stewed and prayed and vented and been so frustrated over this like nagging feeling of this other thing I was supposed to do for 20 years. And, you know, I, it's been hard to be patient. I just wanted to know, I wanted to know now, but my husband pointed something out to me that I think is really important. Cause I said, you know, why couldn't have I known this with such conviction like 10 years ago or even a year ago, you know, then I could have had more time to prepare myself. And he said, but if you had, if you'd known before, like well in advance, you would have been focusing all your efforts on preparing then instead of focusing your time into what you needed to spend your time on in that moment. And I thought, you know what, darn it. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> and it totally is. So patience is everything. We, we have to be patient. We have to just focus on our goal and the thing that we want and do the research and see if it's possible and kind of move in that direction. And if it's not working out, then you kind of know that that's not the right thing. But you can you can move towards something, move in that direction and, and do the work. And, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll pan out. OK, so how will this affect my YouTube channel? Obviously, I'm going to be spending a whole lot of time with my nose. I can't say in books because I'm doing online school. So in my computer for a different reason than YouTube. However, I am not giving up YouTube. I love this way too much. I love sharing with you. I love helping you. It makes my day when someone comments and is like, oh my gosh, this helped me so much. That is, that's the whole reason I'm doing this. So I'm not giving it up, but obviously I'll have to do a little less. So I'm thinking one to two videos a month, most likely. And I am going to share some things that I'm learning in the process. I'm also going to share um, some practical things that I'm actually learning. So some things that may help you if you're a married person or you have a family, I'm going to share some of those things with you in hopes that they might, um, help or assist you with things that you're struggling with. You've come to the end. Thank you for staying to the very end of this video. I appreciate it. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed already and check out all of my other fun content. I have a lot of great recipes and some other things on the channel I think you'll really enjoy. And make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm going to be posting a second video in conjunction with this one. I'm going to explain all the things that I'm doing to prepare myself to go back to school at age 43. No, I will be 44. I have a birthday next week. So at age 44, after having not been in school for over 20 years. So make sure you come back for that one and I will see you in that video.